Welcome back to Ravenport on Farming Simulator 19 for episode 30 with me, Mr. Sealy P. I thought as it's early evening, quarter to six, I'd take Tiberius out just to get the last of his exercise in for today. I think we were at 73% and now it's, uh, we should be not far off 100% very, very soon. And, um, Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. Does it look like field 18 is ready to harvest? That could be entirely possible. Now we still don't have um, a silo. So the oats I've got for the horses that I got from that contract ages ago, I set up in the railroad silo um, east, I think. So anything we get off this will feed to the chickens, then we'll go into, it depends how much we get actually. I suppose we could just sell it, but looks like it's ready to me. Probably not a good idea to trample through it, though, is it? Um, right. Okay. Well, let's just uh, let's just stop here a second. Let's check. It certainly is. There we go. Ready to harvest. Apart from the bit that I didn't sow because I missed it. I'm not quite sure how. Ploughing is continuing on field 13, albeit the uh, equipment we borrowed is uh, has got quite a few hours on it, and it's slowing down considerably. <laughs> but we will get there at some point. Just trying to think what other contracts are available now. Harvesting, cultivating, a couple more ploughing, sowing. None of the big fields, so there'll be no big money for a little while. Although, uh, that's a very good point as well. Our field, field four. Oh no, it's not, not even close. So why is field five not on there, ready to harvest? That's weird. Oh, maybe it'll pop up later. Right. Okay. So what I need to do then, before it gets dark, let's finish exercising Tiberius. And then what we'll do is we'll give him a brush down, we'll get the harvester, we'll get field 18 done, we'll feed the chickens so they're topped right up. And there's probably going to be night time, I would imagine. I normally do loads of contracts through the night, but they don't seem to be... It's a few small ones, but... Right, how are we looking? Animal-wise... Tiberius, yes, and he definitely needs a clean. I love how he get off him and he just disappears immediately. Horse is back in the stable, I know, I put him there, didn't I? Stay still, I need to clean you. Okay, let's have a look now. Right, so both horses are 100% exercised, 100% clean, feed water, everything is looking good. Nice, that's that done. Harvester. Finally, just put it all away. Only feels like I've just put it away. And then the straws, the straws, the straws, all the little straws will be put in here. The straw swaths was what I was going to say. Or just the straws. Actually, I don't even think I need the, the trailer, do I? Let's open it up. We've got to go down the slope, haven't we? We shouldn't meet any traffic along the way. Although I'm going to need some new fencing now. Probably not the best idea. Mm, that's narrow. Oh, hang on. Uh, 
Cut across the neighbour's field. I'm sure they won't mind. Can I get between these two signs? I'm going to knock one down. I'm going to have to pay Jim some extra money for sign repair. Nope, we're through. Nice. So, a couple of things to do first. One. Enable straw swath. Turn on. Good start. Nice curly straw swath. This isn't going to take very long at all. So the thing is, it's now a question of how do I consider Ravenport accomplished? Now, people will set themselves different targets to own every field on the map and that kind of thing. My point was starting off from, well, on start from scratch. I know we had changed the, we changed the economy setting and, you know, once that came in after the update, but it was kind of to establish Mr. City P's farming services in the area and to provide those services. That, I think, is accomplished by a certain amount of missions. It's also accomplished by the fact that we've built the farm up, we've got animals, we've, you know, we've changed everything over there. Um, we're making money, we've bought new machinery. So it's that kind of, I don't know. I don't know when to consider it. I mean, again, like I said before, you can continue a Let's Play indefinitely but I've got to have a point where I say okay this is this is done you know what is that point <clears throat> so yeah I don't know got to decide that because I dare say there are going to be more maps in the pipeline um, I know for a fact that um, black sheep modding are put in the old stream farm uh, for Farming Simulator 19, that's either been put in or it's going to be put in. Mercury Farms is in for Jim. Um, you know, there's going to be some new maps, and like I say, I, I'm not going to stick on the same Let's Plays indefinitely because you know you need to do new stuff, keeping it fresh, new maps, and all that kind of thing. But the frustrating thing is, I do enjoy this map. I thought I was going to enjoy Felsbrun more than this one, but I suppose because I started on this one. I feel like I'm more invested in it. And I suppose because it's Mr. City Peace Farming Services, I wanted to make sure it was all off the ground and running perfectly. But anyway, we're not doing too bad actually, are we? We're not going to need. I'm trying to think how much we're going to need. The chickens aren't using that much, but they do need I want to, I just want to make sure it's topped up just so it's not on the orange anymore I want it to be on green and nice and full and then anything over and above we're going to be full now so busy chatting I completely forgot the harvester has a limit <laughs> to how much it can actually hold oh dear Tractor and trailer is what's needed. Just got a tractor. Oh, fuck, dog. Passes by. 
Apparently they can't be trusted as far as farm dogs are concerned. It's the ones that decide to stop and knock on the door, they're the ones you've got to worry about. The ones that are passing by, they're fine, farm dog. Ignore them. Okay, well, it's just not. Because I'm nowhere near it, that's probably why. No, I am. Right, that's better. That's really annoyed me. Like I say, that's right off the bat because I didn't get that. I suppose what I could do is sell that. Um, sell the barn, re landscape, and then go again on that. Because that really frustrates me. There's such a bump there. Cool, so we'll go and fill up the uh, the chickens, make sure they're okay, um, and then we'll check the conveyor belt, make sure the feed area is clear, and then once this is finished, whatever's left, I'll either decide to um, sell it or take it up to uh, to the railroad silo. I could do with getting a silo at the farm, but then most crops I'm selling straight away I don't really hang on to them um, so yeah that's not really much point is there keeping everything it'd be different if I was waiting for a really good price and that kind of thing but realistically I'm making a lot of money doing my contracting and I've got all that cotton to come on field 4 at some point which is going to be phenomenal is a little bit tighter with bigger vehicles up here. I've only really been up here with the handle and stuff before. Okay, that took a lot more than I thought it was going to. Wow. 12,500 litres. It's been sitting around 4,500 for ages and they're not really eating it. And that was probably a complete waste. I know there will be people saying they don't eat hardly any or every time they put theirs back on it's gone back to what it was originally. You know what? It's full up now. I don't have to worry. They will just continue doing their thing. What I will do is jump out. Let's turn the old... Uh, Conveyor on. There we go. Turn off again. So the problem I've got now is if I don't use any seed, I've got that on the conveyor belt, which now I can't get rid of. <laughs> well, I can put it in a trailer, I suppose. It's all good. Right, let's go and get the rest of this field sorted out. Quite a few people suggested using this to collect up the straw swaths. I hadn't even thought of that, and I suppose it's not what it's designed to do, but since we're right next to the farm, I may have accidentally hit that signpost on the way back. <laughs> oh, dearie me. Where are we? Through the bushes. Um, like I say, this only holds, hold, this only holds 17,000, but... Is it really there we go. It means I can do the rest of the bedding area for the cows and then whatever's left will go into storage. There's not going to be a huge amount off this field, but it's enough. It's working. I'll need to repurpose this field, so I'll fertilise it, cultivate it, and then um, don't know what to put back in it. Possibly, I'm just thinking, maybe something else, maybe wheat again or barley again, or maybe even oats. Something that's going to give me a swath, only because I'm going to need straw every time I do feed for the cows. 
Um, I'm going to need straw, aren't I? So I need a crop that's going to give me straw. I miss a bit. Is there a bump in the ground, maybe? Um, right, the, the uh, John Deere is just down there with the rest of it, and it's about 6,000 litres. The port grain elevator is paying about 1,200, I think, at the moment, for 1,000 litres. So, I think what we're going to do... What have I hit? That's odd. Some kind of invisible barrier. A very strong stalk left in the ground, maybe. Nearly there. There we go. 16,997. Let's lift that up. Turn it off. We'll take it up, do the feed for or the bedding for the cows, and then the rest in storage, and I'll carry on doing the rest in here. So, what I'll do is I'll take that to sell. Oh, that reminds me. That to sell. Uh, contract on oh, field 13 is complete. 9,068 contract reward. Thank you very much. Um, yeah, there's a few odds and ends. I might gradually work my way through those overnight. A few sewing ones. Yeah, we'll see how we get on. But for the time being, let's get this up and done. And I'll get the rest of this sorted. All needs doing. Okay, I think we're there. That's full. So I should really close that down, shouldn't I? Don't want any of those nasty spikes or things hurting anybody. So this should now go to the hayloft. As with all the rest. Awesome. So how are we actually looking? Let's go across. And we'll zoom in. So we have got 85,777 litres of hay, 25,191 litres of straw. I need more of both. Um, and the other thing was, fill 20 next to me. Soil composition it's only been sprayed once, so that could do with another spray, but I don't think it will let me because the grass is fully grown. I'll try it if it does, fantastic, and then we'll use that for hay. So that'll be the same again. That field will get mowed and tended. I've done it on an episode earlier. Um, if you didn't see it, I can't remember, I honestly can't remember which one it was now. A few episodes back, I used the triple mower and stuff. Um, so that will be done off screen because that's a job I've done before and it's one of those jobs that when you're running the farm and you get if you're running your let's play and you've been doing it for quite a while those kind of jobs you have to keep repeating unless you get to a point where you've placed I don't know you know three or four silos uh, hay lofts I know on FS17 when some of the mods were out for for uh, forage and chip silos and they held like 500,000 litres each you could just fill those up in a massive hit um, and they would last quite a while obviously they're not out yet uh, nothing like that is so our capacity is limited somewhat which means you have to keep redoing this which is in the real world you would do there's that turn it on I think it's just getting caught in the ground let's, let's see where I can get to where it will pick up but not catch there we go ok I'll see you in a bit and all this will be done and dusted
Right, having just parked the John Deere, I've just kind of decided, I said I was going to try and redo this. And I was going to do it off screen and, you know, <coughs> hide all the dirty secrets, you know. <laughs> but I think I'm going to do this warts and all, you know. I think. What I'm going to do, first of all, I'm going to sell this. I'm going to flatten this ground out as best I can to, well, say what is level probably here it's going to cost me a bit of money obviously i'm going to sell the shelter i'll have to buy a new one back to put it in its place um, but first things first i need to move some of this equipment out so what i'll do as i'll get the equipment out of the way we'll sell the shelter and like i said i was going to do it off screen i thought you know no i'll, I'll show it because you know if i muck it up i muck it up but you know i'm by no means perfect to doing the landscaping i'm you know I'm learning like everybody else, and I haven't spent a lot of time doing it. I know some people have spent hours and hours just fiddling around with the landscaping and just mucking about and building mountains and crevasses and all sorts of weird and wonderful stuff. Um, I haven't really. I've done what I needed to for the map, but I haven't really gone too far with it, you know? On my test map, I levelled out enough ground that I can do mod reviews and stuff without it being too much of a problem. So it might just be that once I get rid of the uh, shelter, I might just be able to smooth out these edges enough. I think it's because the shelter's here, it won't let me. So I'll try that first. If that doesn't work, then we'll flatten out the whole area. And uh, like I say, it's not going to be cheap, but I'm hoping overnight I might get a fertilising contract or a harvesting contract for like 20 grand or something like that. And it will... Um, kind of help pay for it all so i'll probably get rid of that and we'll put the toolbox mod down and then yeah we'll get rid of that as well so what i'm going to do first as i always do i'm going to go onto here and i'm going to put the help window on because that makes life so much easier i'm going to check contracts one more time there we go look i came off the game i've come back in i've got a sewing contract for 40 grand whoa mama uh, let's accept that for the time being. What have I got to sow? Wait, I can do that with the cedar I've got. So, I'm going to accept that. So it doesn't disappear. I'm not turning my nose up at 40 grand. Um, what was I saying? Oh yeah, so I've, I've done... Uh, I've got the help menu on. Now we go into here. And... No, we don't. Let's come out first. Go to the garage. I need to sell these bits tonight. So, where are we? Let's get rid of. Oh. Uh, oh yeah, that's the one that's four days old. That's the one I've got to get rid of. So let's get rid of the workshop. We'll get rid of the one that's four days old, which is that one. Oh, it all looks different and we'll start landscaping. Right, let's zoom in. So let's see if it will let me now. Because I think this is half the problem. It needed, um, we need to smooth it. Ah, there we go. The problem I've got though, is if it's not flat, it won't allow me to place the shelter on it. So I think I'm just going to flatten it. You know what, that's probably the better idea. So, I need to change, no, I don't want to do, change to that. Let's go out, make it a nice big flat area. So from here, I don't know what this is going to cost me. Okay, R1. Oh, let me do that far back. Why not? Yeah, this is going to be... Well, it's not as much as I thought it was going to be. All that's going to mean... Hmm. Oh, is that coming into contact with the other... Why is that not letting me... What? It can't be modified. Why not? You 
You've got to be kidding me with this. Why is that not changing it all again? See, this is it. It's all very peculiar. What is wrong with this bit of land here? There was never anything here other than... Oh, see, this is why this becomes an absolute nightmare. <laughs> okay, right. Uh, okay, um, I'm thinking... <laughs> I don't do that very often, but I'm thinking... Right, we had the easy shed, didn't we? That one there. So let's swing this round. I don't get this. What is happening? Okay. So let me place it there. But not... Collides with an object? What? Oh, that tree maybe. Train cannot be deformed here. Why? I should have just left it. I should have left it. It's my own fault. I started fiddling, didn't I? I should have just left it when alone. Ah, <laughs> oh dear. You know what? That's probably not too bad, is it? It's going to be certainly flatter. I have a bit of space behind, although there is a wall there. I'm just wondering though whether or not to take that tree out whether it allow me to go it seems like I go slightly back doesn't want to know and I still can't figure out why it won't let me um, there seem to be certain areas that it won't let you terraform and that's considering you're supposed to be able to that's very odd I don't really want to sit this far forward but plus I'm worried now about how much room I've got to get in between that tree for the harvester and stuff nope that won't work that won't work crikey this is quite specific about where this is and let me put it Now let me twist it. If I twist it that way, it's got to be that tree, hasn't it? Right, okay. Bear with me. I'm going to take that tree out and then we'll try again. And hopefully it's just that, which means we'll be able to take it back a little bit further. That's what I'm hoping. Could be this tree, I don't know. Right, bear with me a minute. I'm going to get rid of that tree. Then we'll get it back and we'll get this planted because I'm losing light. It's quarter seven and I need to get this done. So, best laid plans and all that. <laughs> I've had to buy the property next door because the tree apparently was on their land. I have now leased the mulcher. This is the Biobelts 300, is it UM? Um, um, apparently it was a work line. Oh yeah, cool. Let's turn that on. This will get rid of the tree stump, um, and hopefully the tree, because I can't be bothered with logging it. I'm just going to get rid of it. Well, apparently it's the tree stump again. This worked when I tested out the mold, so why is it working now? Thank you. 
去年，嗯。What's that one, Dale? I don't think it's going to do this bigger one. <laughs> We might be stuck. I, d I did this one simply because it's not that grass, is it? On the ground, there's grass left behind. Please tell me it's not that. That's left a bit of tree there. Stumps on the ground, you can see it. Doesn't mean right. Okay. Oh, no, that means I have to chop this one up. I it work, chopped it. <coughs> Behind the scenes, this is all the boring stuff you don't want me to see. <laughs> Yeah, I'm wondering. There's some grass on the floor here. I don't think that's caused it, do you? And some hay. Oh, there's all sorts here. Look. Some idiots left all sorts of stuff on the ground. That could be it. Uh, if I go over the cultivator, that should get rid of it, shouldn't it? I'll try it. Okie dokie, well... I'll come back to me in a minute and it'll all be done. <coughs> Not quite. Just lease the neighbour's land for a few hours, cut down a few of their trees. <laughs> I'm sure they won't mind. How could they possibly object? I'm doing them a favour, surely. Okay, right, well. There we go. Right, so here's where we stand. I got the two trees out, and with the uh, mulcher, did manage to do the other one, just do a little bit of chopping here and there, get some of the branches off, and it did it no problem at all. What I also managed to do, because I had to lease the bit of land next door to be able to do that, it did mean 
that in flattening the ground I was able to flatten a little bit further into um, the boundary um, the least said about that the better um, but what I did manage to do as well I got out here with the cultivator um, and the uh, the big bud was the word I was looking for um, I went over this bit of ground with the cultivator so the grass and the hay that had been left on the ground that's now been removed so what we should be able to do in theory is now place the barn let's get a bit of light on here so so we try let's see if we can do this this time shall we or the shed let's just say shed I can how far that way can I go no because it starts raising I'm thinking if I come this way actually a little bit that's nine thousand and ten dollars um, and we're right on our property boundary that's actually pretty good I've come down a little bit further but it does mean that should give me the ability to hopefully um, 9012 still got enough room to get through with equipment um, so what we'll do then <laughs> let's place it fantastic right so after all that we have now got a flat surface hooray <laughs> oh that took a little bit of fiddling around um, obviously that's in next door's property so at some point if we do lease that again I'll smooth that out but what I need to do now is hopefully uh, oh, oh, I'll keep laughing because if this now won't let me smooth this I'm gonna be really annoyed so landscaping <laughs> let's change that to that oh seriously come on what is wrong with that bit of terrain I don't understand Smooth that down, smooth that, smooth. There we go, there we go. Now we're cooking on gas, right? Let's smooth. No, it's because I'm too close to the uh, building, I think. Smooth it out. There's a few bits of this I meant to do. A while ago where it, the ridge seemed to be quite pronounced and I wanted to try if I can and that's, I know it's costing me money I think it was when I was moving the um, the feed mixer wagon it just all seemed to be a little bit too steep right okay well hang on that's looking better that bit's better we may may let's try and even some of this out if we can okay a few bubbly bits here and there but I think for the most part oh that is so much better there look at that awesome right okay so what I might do then let's have this bit for coming in cool and what we'll do then is this bit here now we've got a kind of larger expanse I suppose I could have put the jet wash here that's all over there isn't it which is a bit frustrating because um, it's kind of out the way so let's you know what let's do it let's have a bit of a change around so let's go to the garage where's our jet wash let's sell the jet wash uh, let's go back to uh, place balls miscellaneous jet wash and let's put the jet wash actually you know what I'm going to put the jet wash on the way in so we can jet wash vehicles on the way in put it about there here we're going to put the toolbox if we just put that to one side where's the disc going to be okay there's the disc uh, if I put that forward kind of there that means we can get some of the bigger vehicles forward you know what okay so we've now rearranged things a little bit jet wash at the start as we come in I shouldn't have blocked that too much I think we should still be able to get 
the higher vehicles the harvester should be able to get past but it does mean on the way in we can give things a bit of a wash if we need to do any maintenance we can come up here and we've got enough room to swing around if we need to this has now been smoothed out so that's a little bit better this slope is definitely more gradual um not bad not bad i'm happy with that right let's get some vehicles back in here that horrible bump's gone it's taken a bit of fiddling around but we got there in the end and this is all looking a little bit better we just go into no let's go into that menu and let's zoom out a bit make that nice and small much better i'm happy with that so what i'll do now i'll put all the vehicles back in and then we'll see what we're looking at time wise for the episode because i'm not sure now i wasn't intending doing any of this um so we'll see how we stand and then what i might do if i've got enough time i'm going to grab the mulcher and if i can get it in through the gate which i don't know if i can i might try and cut the grass up here because this does need cutting it's a bit of a mess um yeah we'll see unfortunately i can't get the mulcher in there um which is not the end of the world um i was hoping i could lift it up high enough but the tractor's a little bit too wide for the gates as well there's going to be a way there is that little small mower as well i'm thinking if i can what piece of equipment there's got to be something i'm just thinking that's got um where am i looking the kramer that doesn't have a three-point link on the back does it what you really need is something with a three-point link one of them did didn't it hang on hang on I'm trying to think what was it oh it was the mod for the um oh, what's it called mine's gone blank the swivel loader there's a mod for the swivel loader uh no mine's gone uh that would work because that's got a three-point link on the back whether or not it fit through the gate or not I don't know but anyway we are done that's it for this episode um we got done what we wanted to get done or what i wanted to get done anyway um it wasn't pretty but the end result i'm much much happier with than what we had before um it is much much better i've got hay to make i've got a 40 40 grand contract to do over on that field um so i better get on with it i suppose i'll take the mulcher back i don't need that for the time being um i hope you enjoyed this episode it's been a bit of an unusual one a bit of uh, kind of behind the scenesy type stuff if you have enjoyed it give us a like if you don't subscribe yet please do if you want to leave a comment feel free if you want to share this video then please be my guest whatever you should choose to do thanks for watching <laughs>